does it. He's so knowledgeable. He had, you know, I'll give you another example. His, his, uh, Devon Betts. Devon Betts was like a 4'8". That's why he didn't get drafted. They, they projected him being a second round. He ended up, did he even, I think he free, might have been a free agent. I don't even know. Late, late, late rounds. Yeah. With, you know, a lot different than what, because he, he ran a 4'8", 40. But he had that f football knowledge, yeah. and he had football speed. That's what Kawali has. Kawali has a tremendous understanding Who's faster? how to get open. When Devon was young versus Kawali, who was faster? I think, I think uh, Kawali is uh, a little bit faster, faster, quicker. You know, he, he, yeah. he, he, he can Devon make was a little miss. more lateral than Kawali. He just means if he has this much space. The twist yeah. or something. And, he'll, he'll but the, what Devon had, Devon was able to, he understood the, you know. Angles. You have, yeah. Exactly. He knew how to get into the right windows and how to get open. That, that was, and, and so much so yeah. that he did well in the NFL. Well, he went to, I think he went to the right team that knew how to use him. You know, they didn't try and force him into something he wasn't. So he yeah, he slide. went to, I don't know, I can't remember. He moved. I still, I still have his jersey. Yeah, he yeah. moved around. I, I think he was with Miami. The Dolphins jersey. Yeah. You know, he he had great uh, moves, and great sets, and he knew how to get open and stuff. That's what Kawali is. Kawali just a hands, natural man. The and hands. Too. He hasn't dropped the ball. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen one. I haven't. <laughs> no, not only in games. Yeah. I don't see him dropping in practice. Does I forgot it's to amazing. ask you about this, but do you guys have a jugs machine out there? No. He catches just the drawing that we do, and he just has that. Uh, he has tremendous, and he catches it in a problem. Yeah. You know, at first it's good coverages. He comes down with the ear. He just has that knack how to how to come down with the ball. What five schools would he fit at right now? I think the teams that run the spread, like UCLA, and uh, the spread or the I mean it's. No, I think, you know, Chip Kelly whatever, runs whatever you version. call what we run, of course, everybody says run the shoe, but what, you know, what is the, it's it's just a shoe. New England runs a version of it. Yeah, they, they, run, they, run, they run yeah. a shoe. But it's not, it's not, a, everybody runs what we run. You guys are actually multiple. Yeah. But with the stress on them. It's his routes that uh, adjustment, everybody's doing that. It's, it's adaptable, but I think it's uh, any any school that, you know. So Washington State, <laughs> UCLA, Texas Tech. The, the Nebraskas that run the spread. They run the, they Nebraska. were kind of an RPO version, yeah. Central Florida, all of those schools. Yeah. Kowali could be really well. UH, he could go there right now yeah. and know exactly. So what they know about him, there's no question. I, I, I have, they, they have a they, 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 They're probably hoping that he's, he squeezes through the cracks. You, you look, here, here, here's the thing. If if you look at Tua, you look at uh, Sheriff, yeah. right, that have gone from high school and uh, take Tua. He went from St. Louis, walked, went in early, had 15 practices. In Alabama. Meaning he, he went there in January, right? Went in January. Right after football season, he went graduated straight. early. Yeah. And he was able to compete with the number one quarterback in the country. Yeah. Right? And you look at Shev as a true freshman, he was competing for the starting spot. And the game that he's played in, he, he helped him win. And look what uh, Tua did after just 15 practices with Alabama. So they come out of here with a pretty good knowledge of the passing game. And if UH already got receivers, they said, but they're not going to get too many kids out of high school that know as much as Kowali and, mm -hmm. and the toughness. And if I were the Hawaii, he would be the top recruit. Because you know why? He, he, he's a local kid. He's a local kid. And he's done such a tremendous job. How can he not?